searching for the word. Searching for the word which will bring her back to her senses. I writhe in condign pain, witnessing the emotional cacophony which subsumes her. Once I jog the perimeter of Eden, swam laps in the lake of twin hearts, and hike the icy top of Mount Oroica. Today, the pinkness of vision is blackened by the debility of having persisted. I separate my thoughts into two camps and rush between them, carrying forbidden messages which I burn so as not to incriminate the pale sender or the ruddy receiver. There's no daylight in the life to come when the darkness is not medicinal.